Today's story is Sweetheart Roland. Sweetheart. Sweetheart means somebody you really, really like. Boyfriend, girlfriend. Um, I think you can use sweetheart for children too. Sweetheart, Roland. Okay. Roland is a boy's name. Boy. Not boy, I mean, but a young man's name. Roland. Sweetheart, somebody likes Roland very much. Roland is someone's sweetheart. Okay. Let's see. Okay. <clears throat> oh wow. It's a long story today. A long time ago there was a woman. There was a There was a woman. This woman, she was a witch. Witch. You know, witch, witch can uh, cast a spell on you. Witch can do magic. Okay, it's not a regular person. Witch, there are good witches and bad witches, but this woman was a bad witch. She was a witch, and she was a real witch. Real witch means some people say, oh, I'm a witch, but she's not really a witch. But this woman was a real witch, okay? Now, she had two girls, two daughters. She had, let's see, a... She had one girl in another girl. She had two daughters. Okay, D A U T H T E R. Daughters. Okay, there are two, there were, she had two girls, two daughters. This one was her real daughter, okay, her own child. But this one was her stepdaughter, stepdaughter, stepdaughter means it is not her daughter. It is somebody else's daughter's daughter. But she is taking care of her. Well, actually, she, well, don't worry about it. Okay, so the one was her real daughter and the other one was not her real daughter. She was her stepdaughter, okay? stepdaughter. Now, this girl, the real daughter, she was not a good girl. She was a bad girl. Let's see. She was a bad girl. And not only she was bad, okay, she was ugly, not pretty, and she was wicked. Not only just bad, she was really, really bad. She was wicked. Wicked means really, really, really bad. Not just bad. Sometimes we can be bad. We are sometimes bad. But she is really, really bad. So she's wicked. Okay. Her own, her own daughter was really, really bad. But 
the, her stepdaughter, she was good. She was a good girl. And she was beautiful. She was beautiful. <laughs> now, because she is a wicked girl, and she is a good girl and beautiful, and she's not very pretty, but she's, this girl is very beautiful. And so she did not like this girl. She hated, she hated this girl. Okay? Now, this, I don't know why these people are living together, but that was, you know, they were living together. And this girl, this good girl, she had a really nice apron. Apron, when you cook, when you do housework, you put an apron around your waist, you know. And, she, you know, um, oh, there are different kinds of aprons, styles, but apron, okay. So, but this girl had a beautiful, I don't know why it was so beautiful, Maybe there was a lots of embroidery. Beautiful apron. She had a beautiful apron. Now, this girl really, really wanted to have this apron. She really um, dreamed of having this apron. She fancied it. Fancy means want. Okay, she felt she imagined because she really wanted it. She thought about this apron all the time. She fancied. She fancied the ap apron. And she wanted to have this apron. Because this girl is beautiful, and she was a good girl, and because she had a beautiful apron, this bad girl, she was very, very envious of this girl. Envious. Envious means jealous. She was jealous of her because she was pretty and she was good and she was she had a beautiful apron and so she was very envious. She was jealous. Okay? She was jealous of her. So guess what? One day this girl says to her mother, Mother, I must have that apron. Oh, she's a spoiled girl, okay? Not very good. Her mother spoiled her. So she says, Mother, I really like that apron. I must have it. I really do want to have it, she said to the mother. And then the mother says, Oh, don't worry about it. Be quiet. You'll have it. I'll let you have it. Don't worry about it, she said. She said, I don't like that girl. She said, she, I don't like that girl. She really annoys me. Um, and uh, she says, uh, she, um, I'm going to kill her, she said. Okay. She said, I'm going to kill her. She said, this girl is not worthy of living. She is not, she doesn't have to live. She doesn't deserve, she doesn't deserve to live. She deserves to die. She deserves to die. She deserves to die means she's not worthy enough for, for living. She, it's okay that she dies because she's not good. I'm going to kill her, she said. And then, because she's a real witch, a real, real witch, she's really, really bad. She's wicked. And mother and, and, mother and daughter, they are both wicked. And so she says, I'm going to kill her tonight. And then after I kill her, you can have that apron, mother said. Well, she's going to kill her because her daughter wants to have an apron. She said, this is the plan, she said. Tonight, 
When you go to sleep, I guess these two girls slept in the same bed, okay? So she said, when you go to sleep tonight, okay, this is the uh, wall, and then the bed is against the wall, okay? This way. And so the mother said, when you go to sleep tonight, sleep close to the wall and have her sleep um, have her sleep um, far side of the bed. Have her sleep, you know, close, close to the edge of the bed. She said, tonight, after midnight, okay, midnight, 12 o'clock, after midnight, I am going to come with an axe. Axe. Okay. I'm going to come, and come with an axe and I'm going to chop her head off. Okay, cut her head off. Cut her head off. She said, I will kill her tonight. So make sure that you sleep close to the wall so that I will not hurt you. Well, this girl was behind the door when the mother and daughter this this daughter this daughter were talking she overheard over here she overheard overheard their conversation oh she was afraid she said i'm she said i'm going to be very careful tonight and so, when the night time came, this girl went to bed first. So she will be close to the wall. And she was sleeping. And then this girl had to be at, to the, uh, 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 no, uh, uh, at the edge of the bed. Okay? Well, they waited and waited. And soon, this girl went to sleep and she was snoring she was snoring and she was sleeping she was fast asleep well this girl she was asleep she acted like she was sleeping but she woke up and what she did was she's very smart what she did was she went this way and she gently because she, because she did not want to wake her up. So she gently pushed her to the edge of the bed. And then this girl was um, by, right by the wall and she was being quiet. Sure enough, after midnight, this woman came in. She crept in. She sneaked in. She was very quiet. She didn't come like this. You know, she came very, very quietly. Came in. She came in and she had, she had an axe. Okay. And then she had, a, she had an axe in her right hand and it's very dark. You can't see anybody. And so she came in and with her left hand, she touched the girl to see if, if there is a girl, you know, and then she knew where the head was. And so she grabbed her, grabbed the ax with both hands and she went whack. She hewed. Hewed. Hew means chop, okay? Chop, 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 chop. He, she hewed this girl's head off. Bang! Well, she didn't know. She thought it was her head, but it was really her own child's head, okay? Now,
And and then so after after she cut the head off, she went outside. She went to her bed. She went to sleep. Okay. Now, after this girl was dead, she this girl woke up, and do you know what she did? She ran away. She was so scared. She ran away, and she went to. She ran away. Okay, she ran away. Oops. Okay, let's see. This is their bed. Okay. Okay, the girl chopped off head, and the girl ran away. Okay, she ran away. She ran away to her boyfriend's house. It was Roland, Roland's house. She went there and she knocked on the door. Well, it was after midnight. Roland was asleep, but somebody was going knock, 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 knock. So he woke up. And he came outside, okay, this is the girl, and Roland came out, and he said, what are you doing? This is very late at night. And the girl said, dearest Roland, she said, dearest, dearest means really, really, I love you very much, okay, dear, dear, yeah, left rest, dearest. Dearest Roland, she said, let's run away. My stepmother wanted to kill me. We must run away right now because she's going to kill us both. Because she just killed her own daughter and she will be very angry. And so she will come and kill me and you. Please. Let's run away. Let's escape, she said to Roland. And then Roland said, okay, should I write Roland here? Roland said, Roland said, oh, he said, Roland said, oh, no, no, he said, you must go back. You must go back to the house and get the magic wand magic wand magic wand is a little stick a little stick and then it's a you know it's a wand it's just a little stick um like the uh, when you go to a concert and the conductor i think you call it conductor you know the man with the uh, who stands in front of the uh, orchestra and he goes but he's got this wand. I think I don't know if it's called it. I don't know if they call it a wand. But anyway, he said, "Go get a magic wand. Wand. Uh, without it, uh, the the witch is going to uh, find us and kill us uh, very quickly. We must have some kind of magic stuff with us. So go home and get the magic wand." Go and steal the magic wand from the witch. And so she said, okay, and she went back. She went back and she got the magic wand. But then, do you know what she did? She picked up this head, her head. She picked up her head, okay? And then what she did was, This is their house, okay? Okay, and here is kitchen. And this is the bedroom. And there is this stairs, steps to go outside, okay? Now, this girl picked up this head of the dead girl picked up the head 
And she went to the step. She went to the stair. She went to the stairs. Okay. She went to the stairs. Okay. She had the head. This is the head. And then she dropped. Dropped a blood. Drop the blood, drop the warm blood on the step. And then she went to the kitchen and she dropped one drop of blood of this girl. And then she went back to the bedroom, put the head back here, okay, put the bed, put the head on the bed, and then she dropped another drop of blood in the bedroom and then she has this magic wand and then she escaped she escaped and with Roland and a girl ran away okay now the next morning the witch woke up and she wanted to give the apron to the to her own daughter so she said to uh, she called she called the uh, uh, the daughter she said daughter daughter where are you she said and then the blood on the step stair said, answered, and said, Mother, Mother, I am on the step, or step, or steps. I am sweeping outside. Sweep, remember? Sweep. Sweep is like you have a um, broom, okay, broom, and you clean the, you know, you clean the dust. So she says, I am outside sweeping with a with sweeping uh, the the ground, and so mother went there. Mother went, mother or witch, the witch went there, but she didn't see her daughter. It's only a blood. Why? Well, I don't know if she saw the blood, and so the woman says, "Daughter, daughter, where are you?" And then the blood in the kitchen says, "Mother, mother." I am in the kitchen. I am warming myself. Okay, so the mother or the witch goes to the kitchen, but she can't find her daughter. And so she says it again. Daughter, daughter, where are you? And then the child, the, the, she, the dead, the blood says, I am in the bedroom. I'm sleeping. So the mother or the witch came here and then she found her own daughter is dead with her head cut off. Oh, the woman was mad. She was angry. She suddenly became so angry, she flew into, she flew into passion. She fall, oh, she fall into, well, she fall or fly into a passion. Fly into a passion means suddenly become very, very angry. So she's a witch, yeah? So she became angry and she, with one jump, dump, went to the window. There was a window. She went to the window and she looked. Because she's a witch. She can see miles and miles away or kilometers and kilometers away. She can see she's got a very good eyesight. She doesn't need to have glasses on because she has very good eyesight. And so she looked and then she saw the girl 
and Roland were running away. She said, I can catch you. I can catch you up. She had lots of different uh, magic stuff. She had this boots. This is a boots. Okay. This is a boots. She wore this magic boots. And when she wore these magic boots, you can go very, very fast. Just one step is about like a uh, two kilometers or something. And so she wore this step, uh, so the, these boots, and she began to run, run. She began to run after the, 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 uh, the girl in Roland, okay? Now, she began to run after, okay, she began to run after, she's wearing her big boots. Uh, she began to run after the two people. Well, when the girl looked back, she could see that the, the woman, the, the witch was coming after them. And so the girl, because she had this magic wand, she said, uh, Roland, I'm going to change you. I will change you with this magic wand. I'll change to a pond. Pond, pond, pond is like a um, like a lake. It's not a river. It's like a lake. Okay, the water, water, water. It's a pond. I don't know how to draw a pond. It's a pond. Okay, pond. And she said, "I will become a duck." Okay, duck is a bird. Okay, so she said, "I'll become a duck." duck. And so she was a duck, and um, Roland was a pond, okay. The woman came, and she said, I know who you are. She said, I'm going to catch you, she said to the duck. And so she gave the duck bread crumb breadcrumbs. Breadcrumbs, when you eat toast or bread, you know, little small pieces of a bread comes out, comes out, or drops from the bread. That's breadcrumbs. Small pieces, not evil piece, like, a, I don't know, small, small, really, really small stuff, you know. Okay, but anyway, breadcrumbs. So she threw the breadcrumbs to the bird, but the bird didn't come because she knew who it was. And so the witch said, oh, shucks. And she went home that day. Now, the next day, Roland and the girl were still running to escape. And then the witch came back. So the girl said, Roland, I'm going to change you to a fiddler. Fiddler. Fiddler is a violin player. You know, do, 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 violin. She, she, fiddler, I think it is just the correct. No, I made a mistake. Fiddler has 2D. Fid. The fiddler is a violin player. So she changed Roland to a violin player and she said, I will become a flower in the uh, rose bush. Okay, so she, there was this rose bush. Okay, there's oh, rose bush. Okay. And then she became this beautiful, she became this beautiful flower. She became a beautiful flower. And Roland was there and he was, oh, I don't know. Okay, he 
was um, playing the violin. Do, 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 do. Okay. Oh no, he wasn't playing the violin yet. He just had the violin. And then the witch came. And the witch said to Roland, Hey, I would like to get some flour. That flour, she said to Roland. So the Ro so Roland said, okay, you know. And then when she came, you know what? This this rose bush was a lot bigger, really, really big, big rose bush. Okay. And then Roland said, okay. And then this woman came to this uh, um, uh, rose bush, and she wanted to pick this flower. Then Roland began to play the violin. And then it was when it was a magic um, violin because um, the girl had the magic wand and she, she changed him to a violin player. And so this violin was a magic violin. And so when he began to play the violin, the, um, the witch, the woman, couldn't couldn't help but start dancing. She did not want to dance, but then because the med, the music was uh, was uh, was magic, she began to dance. And then uh, she was the faster he played, the faster he she moved. And then she came. She wanted to get the uh, the flower, so she came close to the rose bush. Yeah. She came to close to the rose bush, and then the rose bush, you know, had a thorn. Thorn. Do you know what a thorn is? Thorn is like a uh, needle. It's very sharp. Yeah. Um, okay. This is a stem, and this is a flower, and then this is the. Um, leaves yeah and then the thorn is like it's like needle and it is very very um oh it, it's painful when it touches it touches the skin it's very painful okay it's uh, it's like a needle it's like a sharp needle and so when she, the woman came to the uh, rose bush he began to play very fast to and then she began to dance very fast. And then the, these thorns began to cut her skin, or cut her clothes, you know, and then began to tear the clothes, and then began to uh, uh, prick. Prick means he, you like this prick. Prick and, and to uh, tear the, uh, her skin. And she said, stop, stop, stop. But then Roland just kept by playing the violin. And then she danced and danced in, in the thorns. And then soon she fell down and she died. Yay, the bad witch died. Now the girl changed herself into a original a human form. And she changed Roland to an original uh, human form. And then, I mean, he was human, but form. And then she, uh, uh, she was, oh, so happy. She said, oh, Roland, she said, I am so happy that the, the bad mother died. She said, I'm so happy. The bad witch died. Bad witch died, and so the girl is very happy, and Roland says, yes, very, very good. He said, I am so glad the witch died. And then he said, I'm going to go home now. And he said, I will prepare, pre prepare, prepare, I will prepare, for our wedding. 
I will prepare for our wedding. I'll go home and prepare for our wedding, he said. And then she said, all right, she said. I will wait here, she said. I will wait. I will wait here. And I will become a stone, she said. I will become a stone, okay? I will become a red stone. Red stone. And then I will just wait. So, no, I will be a red stone so you can find me when, I, when you come back. And so she said, I'll become a red stone and I will sit here and wait for you, she said. And so she became a beautiful red stone. I don't know if it was a heart shape or not, but she became a red stone. And um, uh, Roland went home to prepare for the wedding, okay? Now, Roland went home, okay? But this is Roland's home to prepare. But there was a little house next door, and in this house, a woman lived. woman lived. And this woman, we don't know her name, but really, really liked Roland. She had liked Roland very much. She knew Roland had a girlfriend, but she liked Roland. And so what happened was Roland fall, fell into a snare of snare of this girl fall into a fall into a snare or snare means a trap she winked at him she smiled at him she brought some cookies to him she said, would you like to go for a walk? She went for a walk with him. Well, Roland, um, was, was caught in a trap. He thought she was pretty. And then she, he, Roland became interested in her. He enjoyed going on a, he enjoyed going for um, a going for a walk with her. He enjoyed receiving cookies from her. And then, after a week or so, Roland forgot about the red stone. Roland forgot, uh, forgot that he came home to prepare for a wedding for, with her, or for her or with her. And so Roland completely forgot about her and she was abandoned. Abandoned. Abandon, I think abandon means um, leave somebody, he left her, yeah? When he left her, he was going to come back. But when he came home, he forgot about her, and so he abandoned her. Abandon or desert. The Desert, okay, desert or abandon or forsake, okay. He forsook her. Um, he, she, um, abandon means leave somebody without any intention of coming back, okay. So he forgot. 
Well, she waited. We don't know how many days, but she waited and waited, maybe how many months? Waited and waited. But then she knew that Roland was not coming back. She was sad. She was very, very sad. Um, yeah, she was very, very sad. And so she said, well, he's not coming back. There is no reason for me to be waiting for him. She said, I will become a small flower. I'll become a flower. And then somebody would come and step on me and, and I'll be dead. Somebody will um, trample me, trample down, trample, trample me, trample, stamp on me. Uh, uh, walk over me, step on me, okay? Trample. Somebody will trample me down and I will be dead. She thought. So she was a flower and she was waiting for somebody to come and you know, step on her and so she'll be dead. She wanted to die because Roland abandoned her, deserted her. Now, Guess what? Somebody came. And this one, he looked at the flower and he thought, wow, what a pretty flower. He did not step on the flower. He pulled it. He plucked. Pluck means to pull. He plucked the flower and he took the flower home to his house. Okay, so he took his, okay, this is his house. He took this uh, uh, flower to his house and he had a, uh, um, chest of drawers and so he pulled, you know, the one drawer out, he put the flower inside the drawer. I don't know why he did that. I don't know why he didn't put it in the vase, but he put the flower in the chest of drawer, drawers. Now, the next day, he went to work. He was a shepherd, he went to work. But when he came back, he was surprised. He was surprised because there was, there was dinner, food and drink, and the dinner was made, a dinner. Dinner was made. It was a very tasty, delicious dinner. And he was surprised. He thought, who is doing this? But he ate it, and it tasted very good. And then the next day, when he came home, the house was clean. Everything was ready. The food was ready again. And he thought, who is doing this? This is strange, he thought. And so he went to talk to an old woman. And he, she, he asked her why things like this is happening. The old, the old woman told him, ah, there must be some kind of a magic going on. Enchanted magic, enchanted, um, uh, enchant, enchantedness. Something is going on there, he sa she said. And so she said, um, tomorrow, when you wake up in the morning, and don't open two eyes, just open one eye and see anything is moving. 
if anything is moving, just throw a white cloth. Okay, white, white, or call this show, white cloth. Cloth is like a handkerchief. Just throw a white cloth over it if anything is moving. So the young man said, okay, and he went home. And the, ne the next day, he was sleeping. And then he was sleeping. Okay, yeah, he was sleeping. And uh, he opened his one eye to see. And then, guess what? This drawer, this drawer opened by itself. And then the flower came out. The flower came out and flying. So the shepherd, he woke up and he went to the flower and he threw a white handkerchief over the flower. And then this flower do bing change to a beautiful girl. So the so he said, Who are you? He said to the girl. And she said, Oh, she said, I am the flower, she said. I am the flower, I was the flower, she said. And he said, did you make the make dinner for me? He said to her. And he, she said, oh yes, I made dinner for you. And then he said, why were you a flower? So she, she told him everything. She told him that she was waiting for Roland. But Roland didn't come back. And she said she was very, very sad. And then the shepherd said, Oh, I like you very much. He said, Will you marry me? He said, Will you marry me and live with me here in this house? And you can clean the house and make me food, make, make food for me? He said. And then the girl said, No. She said, no, Roland deserted me, Roland abandoned me, um, but I want to be faithful to Roland. Faithful. Faith. Faithful means loyal, okay? I want, he is my true love. I want to be faithful to Roland. He might come back. He may become, he might come back someday. I want to be loyal. I want to be true to him, she said. And then he said, okay, that's okay. But she said, I can stay in your house and I can still clean up your house and make you dinner, he, she said. And he said, okay. So they, she began to stay in this house, okay? Now, what happened was, next, she was living in this house with uh, the shepherd. One day, someone came. And so, she said, yes, she said. And then, he said, or the somebody said, oh, did you know? that Roland is going to get married. Roland is going to get married. And next Sunday is their wedding. And you are invited, everybody in the village is invited. So let's go to the wedding next Sunday, this, this person said. Oh, she was sad. 
she didn't think Roland is going, was going to get married to another person. Roland might be busy, Roland might be sick, Roland might be, be you know, something else, something happened. But the girl did not expect, the girl didn't think Roland will marry someone else. But now Roland had forgotten about her and he's going to marry somebody else. She was very, very sad. She said, I'm not going to the party. I'm not going to the wedding. And then they said, no, no, you have to go. Everybody's invited. So the next Sunday, she went to the church. She went to church. Roland and the bride, okay, and the uh, um, a, a bishop or minister, and then village people all were here, okay. The girl was in the back. She was in the back. She didn't want Roland to, Roland to see her, so she was back in the in the back way back in the, ch in the church. And according to the custom, okay, those days, the girls who were invited had to make, had to sing a song. They had to say, they have to uh, uh, sing a song to uh, um, um, mm, to, uh, they had to sing a song in honor of the bridal pair. In honor of the bridal pair for, for these people to congratulate them. The girls, each girl was asked to sing a song. Well, everybody sang a song and it came to her turn. She was the last one to sing. And it, it was her turn to sing. And she didn't want to sing. So she stepped back, stepped back. She stepped back and she began to sing. La, 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 la. Roland, when he heard the girl's voice. Oh, suddenly he woke up and he said, I know that voice, he said. That is my true love. She is a true bride. And she said, he said to her, I don't want to marry you. You are not my true bride. And he said, he came here and he said, Oh, I am so sorry. There was something wrong with me, he said. I remember you. You are my true bride. And so this girl left. This girl left. And uh, this girl, okay, came to the came to the front of the church and they got married. They got married. Okay. Well, sad days are were over. Okay. Grief came to an end. Grief. Grief is a sad, sad, painful feelings. Grief came to an end. It's an end. And happiness and joy began for the girl, for the girl, for the girl, for the girl, the end.